our peas that we planted a few weeks ago are not doing well. We noticed that they're yellow. They just look really poor. The tops at the terminal looks like they're curling up and dying. They look bad. So we, I, I have a lady that I teach with, her husband is in agriculture and started talking to him a little bit and he said, well, go home and pull one up and look at the roots. And we did, and I'll show you guys. Let's see if this one looks like it. Those little balls on the roots are, he says, root, not nematodes. So we are looking for what to do for this. So we looked it up online and one of the things they did was said you could apply neem oil to the soil. So we're going to do that. Another thing said that worm castings will help take care of this. And so we have a batch of worm castings ready in our earthworm bins. So we're going to apply this as well. So between the neem oil and the earthworm castings. And then we're just going to let it dry out good. And then they also said to pick a variety of pea that is resistant to nematodes. And we have just traditional pink eye purple hull peas planted here. But um, that is not a resistant variety of pea. So I'm going to the co-op this afternoon to try to find just some Mississippi pink eye peas. That's supposed to be resistant. There's another brand or another variety called Top Pick that's supposed to be resistant. So I'm going to look into getting one of those two varieties or something else. I'll ask them if they suggest anything. But these rows are just pitiful. These rows over here we planted at least a week later, maybe two weeks later, and they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. So hopefully these rows don't have the, the nematodes. I don't know, crazy. But these rows were planted a long time, and apparently they're a lot worse on this end than they are down at the other end, because as you go down, I don't know, they look pretty bad here. Even though they're greener down on this end, they're still curling up and looking weird. So we've decided that's what our problem was anyway. We thought it maybe some sort of mineral deficiency. We thought a bunch of other things, but decided it's nematodes, root, not nematodes. So we're going to work on fixing that problem. I'll give you an update on that later. Thanks. Bye.